given question find the unknown forces in the members 1 2 and 3 of the finger truss this is the question to find out unknown forces in few members instead of to find out unknown forces in all the members of truss so we are going to use section method there are some basic rules we can pass through a section line maximum 3 members but not more than that we have to draw section line in such a way that it will separate the entire truss into two parts in this question we have to find out unknown forces in the members 1 2 and 3 so we will draw the section line passing through that now if we observe the diagram then at end a it is hinged so the truss can rotate about point a reaction can be in any direction so we will draw horizontal component and vertical component at point a so this vertical component we will say r a and horizontal component we will say h a if we observe the end b then roller support is provided and it it is it supports on a horizontal fixed surface so we have to show the reaction at point b perpendicular to the surface that is the vertical line and this reaction we will say rp so we have to find out the unknown reaction at point a and at point b so we will find out ra as well as rb and we will also find out ha if we observe there is the 20 newton force is placed on the truss which is equispaced that means space in between this 20 newton force is same or we can say equal now we will find out ra and rb so we will consider the equilibrium of this whole system so when we consider equilibrium of the whole system then we can write the summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0 summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0 now we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0 so these are in upward direction so we will take the positive sign and for this downward direction we will take the negative sign so r a plus r b now this minus 20 how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 minus 20 into 7. so i will take this 20 into 7 term to the right hand side so which is equal to 140 newton now this whole load of 140 newton carried by these two at these two points end points a and b so we can say that r a is equal to r b because this load is equally distributed at these two points so r a is equal to r b therefore r a is equal to r b which is equal to 70 newton now what about this horizontal component so there is no any horizontal force so summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0 and this h a is also equal to 0 we will first draw the section line so we have to draw this line in such a way that it will pass through the members for which we have to find out the unknown forces so there are three members we have to find out the unknown forces this is member 1 member 2 and this is 3 so i will draw the section line now this section line separates this entire truss into two parts this is the left hand side part and this is the right hand side part if we observe here this member that is the second member is inclined member third member is the horizontal member and the first member angle of inclination is mentioned 30 degree so we have to find out this angle and this angle we will say theta so how to find out for that we will make one construction from this point c i will draw one perpendicular line on the horizontal line ab now if we 
observe this is the middle point so we will give here the letter e this is the middle point of this horizontal line ab so what is this distance so here this distance is given 3 meter then this distance is given 3 meter so for this whole 6 meter distance that is the middle portion distance is given 6 meter so E is the middle point for the 6 meter so on left hand side the remaining distance is 3 meter now this 3 meter that is this nearby side is known in triangle C E and we will give here the letter D in triangle C D E this nearby distance is known but this opposite side is CE is not known. So how to find out? So we will consider another triangle CEA. Now in this triangle angle at A is given 30 degree. So we can say that tan of 30 is equal to CE divided by AE and this AE is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9. So CE is equal to 9 tan 30 and which is equal to 5.2 meter. Now we can find out unknown distance DE. Now we will consider another triangle CED. So here theta is equal to tan inverse of CE divided by D. So this CE is equal to 5.2. DE is equal to 3. So theta is equal to 60 degree. Now in question this 20 newton force is given and if we observe on each the distance in between each force is mentioned with letter A. So we can say that in between each force this distance is same. So we have to find out the point of application of this force on the horizontal line. So I will extend this 20 Newton force on the horizontal line. So here is the point of intersection. Here is the point of intersection. And here is the point of intersection. So we have to find out these three points. So I will say here is the letter X, here is the letter Y and here is the letter Z. So how to find out this A to X distance, A to Y distance and A to Z distance. Now we will concentrate on the horizontal line A to E. So if, the, if we observe A to E that is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is 9 meter. So I will write here A E is equal to 9 meter. Now this is the inclined line and on this inclined line these forces are equally placed. Distance in between them is same. So if we extend this then this x, y and z these three points are also equispaced. That means ax is equal to xy is equal to yz which is equal to ze. So this 9 meter is totally divided into 4 parts. And one part is equal to 9 by 4. So how to find out Ax? So Ax is equal to 9 by 4. Then Ay is equal to. Ay is equal to Ax plus Xy. That is 9 by 4 into 2. And Az is equal to 9 by 4 into 3. To find out the unknown forces in members 1, 2 and 3, we will consider the equilibrium on the left hand side part of the section line. Now which are these members? So first member is A to C, second member is D to C and third member is D to B. So we have to find out the unknown forces. So we will first show the direction of the force. So we will show the direction on this left hand side part. I will show the direction in the same direction that is the outward direction from this point A as well as outward direction from this point D. Now these two members A to C and D to C are inclined members. 
So for A to C, angle of inclination is 30 degree and here we have calculated theta that is equal to 60 degree. Now we will resolve these inclined forces into two components, horizontal and vertical component. So I will show here. So the angle of inclination is known. So it is making angle 60 degree with horizontal. That means horizontal component. So how we can say, so this is the second member. So I will say F2 cos of 60. And here F2 sin of 60. In the same way, this, this is the member 1. So it is making angle 30 degree. So I will say F1 cos of 30. And here F2 sine of 30. Now the third member D2B is the horizontal force. We will observe line of action of the force. Now for the force 1 that is A to C it is passing through the point A. If we observe the second force D to C then it is not passing through the point A and if we observe the third force D to B line of action of force that means when I extend this action of force that is this force in the backward direction then it is also passing through the point A. So if we take the moment of all the forces on the left hand side part of the diagram about point A it is equal to 0 then this first force F1 if which is also equal to 0 and the third force DB which is also equal to 0. So there is only one unknown force that is F2 and we can find out. So I will take summation of moment of all the forces about point A is equal to 0. So this RA is also passing through point A so it is also equal to 0. Now we will observe this left hand side part. So here is 20 Newton force and it is in the downward direction. Now if I move the compass about point A in the downward direction then it is in clockwise direction. So we will take positive sign. So how to consider this 20 that is plus 20 multiplied by perpendicular distance. So this A to X distance 2.25. Plus second force. So this 20 multiplied by A to Y distance. 20 multiplied by 4.5. Plus. Now we will move to the next. That is this 20. So 20 multiplied by A to Z. That is 20 multiplied by 6.75. Now if we observe here this force D to C. Then this horizontal component, so this force is at this point, point D. So this horizontal component also passing through the point A. So we will consider only vertical component. Now if I move the compass about point A in vertical direction, that is in the direction of F2 sin 60, then it is in anticlockwise direction. So we have to consider negative sign. So how to write this? Minus F2 sin 60 minus F2 sin 60 multiplied by perpendicular distance. So actually these two components acts at point D. So here what is the distance of A to D? So it is 3 plus 3 that is 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 0. F2 is equal to 52.32 Newton. So it is positive value. So it is tension. Now if we observe this diagram, we come to know the value of F2. Now there are two unknown members, that is member 1, force F1 and this third member, that is force F3. Now this force F3 is the horizontal force. So if we take summation of all vertical forces on the left hand side part is equal to 0, then this force F3 will become 0 because it's a horizontal force. So we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. So for upward direction give positive sign and for downward direction we have to give negative sign. So RA is upward direction so it's a value is 70 Newton. So 70 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20. Now this F2 is known. 
So this f2 sin 60, we have to take, it is having upward sign. So we have to take plus f2 sin 60 and plus f1 sin 30. Now these horizontal components we are not going to consider and which is equal to 0. So we will put the value of f2 is equal to 52.32 and when we calculate this then we have to first calculate all these constant terms that are known terms then we get f1 sin 30 plus 55.31 is equal to 0. So we will transfer this plus 55.31 to the right hand side so it will become minus 55.31 divided by sine of 30 so f1 is equal to minus 110.6 newton that means it here magnitude is negative so we have to give here the nature is compression so 110 newton and nature of force is compression value of f1 is known it is minus 110 newton value of f2 is also known 52.32 newton now we have to find out f3 which is horizontal force so we will take summation of all horizontal forces is equal to zero now in this uh, left hand side part which are the horizontal forces it is f1 cos 30 f2 cos 60 and this f3 now all are having the direction towards right hand side so for right hand side direction we have to use positive sign so we will take the plus f1 cos 30 plus f2 sin 60 plus f3 is equal to 0 now we will put the magnitude now when we put the magnitude because we have considered for all these members direction is in the outward direction from this point A as well as from this point D. So whenever the magnitude is negative then we have to put this magnitude as it is. So instead of F1 we will put minus 110 cos 30 plus 52.32 cos 60 plus F3 is equal to 0. So when we calculate this then we will get F3 is equal to plus 69 Newton that means it is tension, tension in the member. Now we will show the direction of this unknown forces as per the nature. So for this force F2, for force F2 nature is given tension. So for tension arrow is away from the joint. So if we observe we have considered this D to C and on left hand side part this joint D is considered. So we have to show arrow away from this joint D. So I will show here arrow. Now from this joint C we have to show arrow in opposite direction that is it is also away from this joint C. Then we will move to the next F1. So for this member 1 A to C how to show the direction. So F1 is having nature compression. So here we have to show arrow towards the joint. So we will show arrow here that is it is towards the joint. So I will show arrow towards the joint A and in the same way we have to show arrow towards the joint C. Now we will move to the next that is third member D to B. Here uh, we have to show nature tension. So for tension nature we have to show arrow away from the joint. So here is the joint D. So from this joint D we will show arrow away from the joint and Next is B. So from the joint B we have to show arrow away from this joint B. So this is the diagram is the final answer.